When you have created an outcome, you can define the details of the analysis by modifying the properties of the outcome. In the outline pane, double click the headache outcome. Now go back to the headache tab in the content pane. Click the properties button in the top right corner of the content pane. This will open the outcome properties window. Click the analysis method tab. This tab allows you to change the analysis model, statistic method, or effect measures. For demonstration purpose, I'm going to switch the odds ratio to risk difference as effect measure and click on apply. The outcome properties will be automatically updated. Under the graph tab, I'm going to update the group labels. So instead of caffeinated group, I'm going to change that to favors caffeine. And instead of decaffeinated group, I'm going to call it favors decaf. When I click on apply, the changes will be implemented automatically to the graph. Click the Analysis Details tab. Switch totals and subtotals to no totals. Under Study Confidence Interval, change 95% to 99%. Click on Apply. Notice that the line representing the confidence interval for each study have now become wider because I increased it to 99% and the black diamond representing total has now disappeared because we switched total off. You can easily change some of the property for an outcome directly by using the toolbar buttons at the top right corner of the content pane. Click on this button to switch between odds ratio and risk ratio and risk difference. Click on this button to switch between random effect and fixed effect model. Click on this button to produce a forest plot. Click on the funnel plot button to produce a funnel plot.